hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to take a look at creating this really cool horror animation inside hit film express so before we begin this tutorial how about you hit that little red subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so you get notified every time i post a new video now that you have done that let's get started so i'm just going to create a new composition the template i'm going to choose is 1080p at 60 frames per second and click on start composting and once you do that i uh, just have to go to import and uh, just import your images so i'm just going to use the twitter logo and the I also have this cursor image that i'll just open up and i'm just going to drag it onto my timeline all right so our cursor image is at the top and uh, then our logo is at the bottom now before we move any further let's just go to options go to background color and let's just change the background color real quick um something like that so it's not actually the you're not changing the background color your animation is still transparent um so we are just uh trying to you know change the background color so that we can just see what we are doing uh, with our animation so let's go to cursor and transform we can just scale that down to around 19 percent and our twitter logo it can uh, let's just keep it as it is and then we can just animate the cursor so what we can do is we can just make sure blade is at the first frame of your video we can just put the cursor away from our animation and then we can just create a position keyframe and now we can move like uh, 30 frames forward or let's just do 40 frames forward and we can just bring it on top of our logo like that and now we can move like um let's do 20 frames forward and let's just create the same keyframe so it just um we can just just copy this keyframe and paste it right here or you can just click on this icon that says toggle keyframes and it will basically create the same keyframe for you and from here i'll just move um to 20 all right let's do 30 frames and i'll just move a move the cursor away from the image like that and let's just keep it there for like 20 more frames and uh, again create a similar keyframe then we can just move and we could just move 30 frames forward and just bring this cursor back on this image and let's just keep it there for like 20 frames create uh, the same keyframe with the toggle keyframe icon let's just move 40 frames forward and this time i'm gonna move the cursor away from that logo so if you take a look at our animation we have something like that and then we can select all these keyframes and convert it to manual bezier uh, to give our animation a bit more smoothness okay so we have something like that you can also enable the motion blur if you want to and then uh, all you have to do is we just have to animate the um, logo so in the effects tab we can just go to fill color and apply it onto our logo the twitter logo and just basically you have to set the blend amount 100 percent and just change the color let's give it a dark uh, gray color like that so um now what we basically have to do is every time our mouse cursor is you know touching the logo we need to change the color of uh, the logo so um, right at this point you can see the cursor is touching our logo so what we can do is we can just create a blend amount keyframe and we can just turn it down to zero percent and we can just move 10 frames back and we can just set the blend amount to 100 percent so you see we have a really nice kind of horror, horror effect on our logo image like that and then again we can just right at this point we can just create another keyframe so let's just click again click on toggle keyframes and just move 10 frames forward and we can set that to 100 again we have this nice and smooth animation and then right at this point we're going to create another keyframe move 10 frames forward and we can change that to zero and then at the last maybe right about here we create another keyframe 
move 10 frames forward and we can change that to 100% and congratulations you have now successfully created the horror effect inside it film express so i hope uh, this video was helpful if i hope you learned something new if you did please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one